Hello friends, this video on our environment part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Ecosystem Food chain Food web Flow of energy Environmental problems Ozone layer So let us see what are we going to study in this lesson called our environment. Now have you ever, I'm, I'm sure all of you are aware of the term environment. What does this part environ means? The term environ means around. So basically what is environment? Now everything that is surrounding us or everything that we see around us on which we depend for our sustenance is nothing but our environment. For example, when you look at this nature, what all do you see around yourself? For example, the greenery around us, the plants on which we depend for uh, the oxygen which we breathe in or for the food which we eat, the other animals which live with us on this beautiful earth. So on them also we depend in one way or the other. So not only the living objects, also the non-living things, for example, water, air, soil. Do you think that we can live if we do not have it, even one of them? No, right? So every, all that surrounds us, all that helps us to live is nothing but our environment. So we can say that all that surrounds us is nothing but our environment. So in this lesson, we will see that how each one of us continuously interact with one or the other component of the environment. So when I say us, I'm not, not only talking about the human beings, I'm talking about each and every living organism existing in this environment. So everybody is dependent on each other. No one can exist in isolation. So here we will talk about the various components which actually form the environment. We will also see that how these days with the development, with each passing year, how our environment is being threatened by our activities, by the human activities. And what, what is the need that we should take care of this environment? So basically, first we will talk about what makes up the environment? What are the different components that form the environment? Wherein we will talk about ecosystem. So that is a new term for you, I'm sure. But just from the next slide onwards, we will talk about ecosystem in detail. So when we talk of environment, environment is nothing but there are many multiple ecosystems existing inside the environment. So when we study ecosystems, we will see how living organisms depend on each other for their survival, how living organisms depend upon the non-living things existing in the environment. Right? So the first part is studying ecosystem. The next part is studying the dependency between the living and the non-living organisms of the environment and then towards the end of the lesson we will see how these days our environment is getting threatened. I mean what is the need that we should uh, protect our environment. So how are we getting benefited from the environment and why should we protect the environment. So this is going to be our agenda in this lesson called our environment. I hope at least it, it gave you some idea about what you are going to study in this lesson. So let us start with ecosystem because first of all we want to understand the various components which together form this environment. And when I talk about uh, the components forming environment it becomes very very important to talk about ecosystem. Now again it is made up of two words eco and system. So let us see what exactly it is. All interacting living organisms in an area together with the non-living constituents of the environment form the ecosystem. That means living components plus the non-living components. So living organisms, I, I really don't need to give you examples of living organisms. Anything with all living beings, maybe animals, birds, insects, microorganisms, human beings, everything fall under living organisms. So these living organisms as well as the non-living constituents. And what are the non-living constituents we are talking about here? It would include 
anything like water, dissolved gases, air, soil, these are the non-living components. So how these living organisms and non-living organisms, they interact with each other and they form an ecosystem. So in, if you try to understand an ecosystem, I would like you to take the example of colonies. For example, you live in a city, say you live in Delhi. So inside Delhi, you will have small, small colonies, right? For example, you have a place called Preet Vihar, you'll have another place called Dilshad Garden. So you'll have different places, right? So you'll have different colonies. Now in each colony, there, there are many people who are living inside that colony. So inside that colony, people interact with each other and they live happily. They help each other in need. So inside each colony, people not only interact amongst themselves, they also interact with all living organisms in that locality. Right? So they interact with the living organisms as well as the non-living organisms. For example, in each locality, people say that we should uh, plant more and more trees in our colony. Why? Because greenery is good. Why is it good? Because if there are more plants, so the plants will give out oxygen. So we can breathe in oxygen. So we'll get some fresh air around. Right? So for those reasons, we should plant more trees. So that means people of that locality are also interacting with the plants of that locality. They want the air of that locality to be fresh. So each such colony is nothing but an ecosystem. I mean, I'm just trying to give you an example just to make you understand what an ecosystem is. Now I will give you actual example of ecosystem. A pond is an ecosystem. In this picture, you can see this pond, right? Now inside this pond, you have a variety of living organisms. For example, you will find fishes, you will find small fishes, big fishes, you will find animals like frogs, you will find small, small insects, you will also find a lot of plants inside the water. So these are the living components of the pond. When I talk about the non-living components, it would include water, right? It would also include soil. I mean, if you go deep down the pond, you will see that there is some soil at, at the lowest level of water. So you'll have soil, you have water, you have oxygen dissolved in water. And all these things, all these non-living components are extremely necessary for the aquatic life. Right? So we can say that pond is an ecosystem. That means pond is an area which consists of living organisms, which con consists of non-living organisms and they both depend on each other for their survival. So pond becomes an ecosystem. Right? So pond is just like a colony in your city. Right? Because pond is not the only ecosystem in the entire environment. There are other ecosystems as well. Let us look at another example. Forest. Right inside the forest, you have so many plants, full of plants and trees, right? So, so many trees, you have so many different varieties of animals, starting from big animals like lions, tigers, and elephants, to very small animals like uh, small insects or birds. You even have non-living components like water, you have soil, you have hills, you have plant, uh, you have hills, you have air. So these non-living components also exist. Now do you think that if the non-living components are not there, the wildlife will exist in forest? No. Right? So pond, forest, ocean, these are all examples of ecosystems. Right. So I hope you are able to get some idea about what an ecosystem is. So when I talk of ocean again, you have a variety of life inside the ocean. You have big fishes like whales, sharks, you have animals like crabs, shells. And the non-living component obviously exists there as water and soil. So each such ecosystem will have plenty of living and non-living components which will which will be constantly interacting with each other right so now in the next few slides we will see what are the different types of ecosystem that exist in our environment how the living organisms in an ecosystem depend on each other why do they depend on each other so we will study about all those things in the next few slides so let us look at the types of ecosystems.
Now, broadly, ecosystem is divided into two types. One is natural ecosystem and the other one is artificial ecosystem. Now, I'm sure just by looking at the names, you would have guessed what are they. So let us quickly see at each of them. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.